In our timeline, the Soviet Union won the Russian Civil War, and after Lenin's death, Stalin took his place. And as many of you know, he didn't feel secure, so he started a great purge, killing many people, innocent people, people who opposed him, and people who he really didn't need. And he tricked one of the major opposition groups by lying to them. And one of those men was Lev Kamenev. But in this timeline, Stalin didn't rule the Soviet Union because they didn't win the Russian Civil War, but the whites did. And due to the Treaty of Brezhnev, we've got no stability and no economy. Things need to change. And Alexander Kerensky has been assassinated. Sorry, but you sadly won't be missed. Surprisingly, the Cossack government decided to reunite with us. There has been a military coup led by Lavra Konolov. Lavra Konolov's regime won't last for long because he has been a worker strike in Petrograd, powered to the toilets. And the temporary leader for now would be Alexander Yegrov, the Red General. And the second volunteer army has broken away from us. This will be the start of the second Russian Civil War. We have got a Red General's back, but another breakaway state will open up a wider front in the Russian Civil War. Hopefully, these generals will help. And the second Russian Civil War has kicked off. This will be a pretty easy war because, you know, for the Russian Socialist Republic. And with the fall of the final fake Russia, the Russian Socialist Republic can proclaim victors of the Second Russian Civil War. And with the revolution successful, we are going to invite the Bolsheviks. We've got a cool super events and a new leader. And obviously, a new path of the focus tree. We've now got to deal with the conquest of the Soviet aka politics and Lev Kamenev who has already got a high score. And that was pretty easy, we've got Kamenev in charge now and he will lead us to greatness. And we will now be renaming Russian cities to honour the Bolsheviks like Leningrad and Gorky. Now we're going to decide who's going to lead the economy. We've got four options but we're going to obviously choose Bukhara. But now we've got to deal with Siberia because the Far East Republic of Transfer has declared war on us. We will annihilate them in a matter of seconds.
And with the fall of the city of Vladivostok, Transma reunites with us. And the Russian Socialist Republic looks bigger than ever. We've still got to capture a few territories to look beautiful, so we're going to start with Turkestan. Now we could demand their full cooperation to join us, but I know they won't accept, so let's just get this over and done with. And that concludes the war with the Turkestan Khanates, another country to add to our collection. Moving to the Caucasus, we will attack the almighty Don host, and they are puppet of the North Caucasian MMA, so it's a two for one special. And we will start to send agitators to the almighty Don host. Alright, we have declared war on the not so mighty Don host, let's just get this done and over with. And the Don host and the North Caucasian inmates is now part of the Russian Socialist Republic. We will now attack Georgia, Azerbaijan, and the Kuban People's Republic. And then we'll try to attack Armenia later, but we've got to deal with these first. Okay, my troops are position, and we've declared war on Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Kuban. This will be an easy war, because Armenia and Azerbaijan are already fighting war, and Kuban is surrounded by us. With the fall of the Kuban People's Republic, we will obviously annex him, along with Georgia and Azerbaijan, and we'll finish up the Caucasus by attacking Armenia. And we will demand the entire country. I am a little bit disappointed that they accepted because they are a puppet of the Ottomans and we could have got the entire Ottoman Empire. And we have got border clashes in Tanatuva. So, we'll get this done and over with because the Mongolians are kind of weak now. They are not in a faction and they chose the wrong path. Okay, another country to be annexed by the Russian Socialist Republic. Another victory for us and Kamenev. We will now demand Karelia from Finland because they're puppets. And it's also our territory. And the Finnish refused Karelia, but this is good because we get all of Finland and Karelia. And with the fall of Helsinki and a few other cities in Finland, Karelia and Finland have surrendered to us, so the expansion in the north went well. We are now going to attack Estonia and Latvia. Okay, this war will be a piece of cake because, you know, 4,000 times the size of them, land-wise, um, army-wise, and economically-wise. Okay, that's it for Estonia and Latvia. Now, after the peace conference, we will attack the Ukrainian Socialist Republic. Okay, 
I think we are ready for the final push against the Germans. Okay, I'm sorry my socialist friend, but we have to annex you somehow. After many years of cold and harsh war, Lev Kamenev is victorious and the 4th International stretches from Eastern Siberia all the way to Western Belgium. We can now reunite the Soviet Union. <laughs> 